Hello guys, this is Dr. E from Dr. E Skateboard. Today we're going to talk about Vesk versus Hobby Wing. Let's go and take a look. Alright guys, as you know, there's two main hobby controllers that people use these days. A Vesk, which is an open source a motor controller developed by Swedish Benjamin Vetter, I, which you can buy from various sources uh, because it's open source. The hardware schematics are open source. You can even build your own motor controller if you buy the parts. Uh, I've got one of such uh, vest controllers. This is uh, this is based on Benjamin Vetter's original uh, schematics, and you can actually flash the open source firmware. Um, you can customize pretty much every parameter uh, of your DIY electric skateboard. Now what's the difference between this and Hobby Wing? The problem with Hobby Wing is that it is customizable, not for the user, uh, only for the manufacturer. I was actually looking into Hobby Wing's skateboard stuff. Now some of their RC stuff are programmable, but none of their skateboard stuff are programmable. You have to be actually a manufacturer, you have to actually produce. Uh, manufacturer skateboards those are actually the only people who can actually program a hobby wing so that sucks as a user for example let's say I buy a own board bamboo GT and I want to upgrade the motor from the 6364 motors it comes with I want to upgrade it to 6374 motors well guess what you can upgrade it but you're not gonna be able to change the parameters on the hobby wing um, to maximize the new powers of your new motors that is a huge problem with hobby wing is that uh, only manufacturer have the key to reprogram, customize the parameters on your electric skateboard. So pretty much if you buy an own board uh, with the 6364 motors, the Hobby Wing program is already set for that motor. Uh, and also if you do get more powerful batteries, for example, the own board Bamboo has a 10S 4P, uh, but let's say you got a 12S 4P Samsung 40T batteries, then you're not going to be able to reprogram the battery current max uh, to maximize your new power output uh, from the new battery pack. So those are the things to think about. If you really want to customize your skateboard, eventually at some point you're going to have to pull that hobby wing out and reinstall Vesk. There's a lot of different types of Vesk uh, produced by different manufacturers. This is a Maytech, a Flipski, there's Fogbox, there's, a, there's Trampa. They're all based on Benjamin Vetter's original schematics. There are slight variations, and depending on which company you buy from, so there might be some issues. For example, the Flipski Dual Plus models, they have an issue where the anti-spark can cause uh, one of the sides of the vest to fail. Now, so long as you don't use the built-in anti-spark, you're okay. There are smaller ones like this based on the 4.12 hardware of Vesk, and these are pretty good for small applications, uh, small power motors. But once you start adding bigger motors like 6374, uh, you might have heating problems, especially when dealing with hills. This is a pretty good option, but like I said, if you really want to maximize this, you may want to add some kind of heatsink or some kind of cooling option. So what's wrong with Hobbywing? Nothing. Hobbywing uses FOC. A Vesk, you can run FOC and BLDC, so you have more options with Vesk. A Hobbywing is very quiet, very smooth. A Vesk is exactly the same, but even better, you can actually customize your throttle curves, how fast you accelerate, uh, how fast you brake, or you want to make it smoother, you want to make it accelerate slower, uh, you want to accelerate super fast, you can customize all that. Now the problem with retail boards that uses hobby wings such as Ownboard, Vestar, Ansra, blah blah blah, is that you're just stuck with whatever parameters they put on. For example, I love my Ownboard M1 mini board from Ownboard. Uh, I really love it, but I live on steep hills. And because Ownboard has programmed Hobby Wing to really limiting the power, uh, when I go up the steep hills, it doesn't go as fast as I would like to. Now, they probably did it to make the battery last longer, but it's got 40T batteries, and I know I can take a ton more power out of it. So I'm stuck at pro mode, and I still want more power. Um, so you come into issues where you buy a really nice board, a really nice battery, so you got all this power, but because the manufacturer has limited uh, your power output, you're just stuck with whatever they give you. That's an issue with Hobbywing that if you like going fast, 
uh, you you want to maximize the power out of your board, uh, maximize everything. You just can't. You're you, you get just limited. And I feel like that's where Vest comes in. Even if you risk degrading your battery, you have the option to really turn up the power with Vest because you can program everything. Um, now you can add a Bluetooth module and control everything from an Android app if you have an Android phone. It doesn't support iPhone yet. Um, just buy an Android anyways, it's better. <laughs> These things are the future of electric skateboards. Now, the companies like Trampa are already using Vesk as platform, which I like. It's open source. Uh, users can buy the board and later customize it, make it faster, make it slower, whatever the hell they want to do. And if they want to get bigger motors, bigger battery, uh, bigger wheels, you can optimize it using Vesk. Now, with Hobby Wing, you're pretty much stuck with the setup they give you, uh, with the motor setup, with the battery setup. Now, if you try to use a larger battery uh, on a setup that was made for a smaller battery, you're obviously not going to be able to maximize the more power you get out of the bigger pack. Uh, same thing with motors. You cannot change the parameters. Now, the reason why they did that, Hobby Wing wants to keep you in their, basically, in their garden. All right, you're basically stuck in the garden. You're basically a slave to their system. All right, they don't want you to modify the software because you're gonna end up with customers uh, buying other companies' parts, putting it in, um, you know, modifying it. But as skateboarders, the culture is that we want to modify it, put bigger wheels, put bigger battery, put bigger motors, etc., etc., etc. So the Hobby Wing is actually not bad for starters. I do highly recommend going with Hobby Wing. It's very smooth. Uh, most of the manufacturers set at very safe levels so you won't hurt yourself. Of course, if you're a decent skateboarder, um, you're gonna quickly get bored with it. You want more power, you want more customization, you want more, more bigger wheels, you want more, you want more range. When it comes to that, you can actually modify uh, like an onboard Vestar uh, evolved boost it not so much boost it uses too many proprietary parts you're gonna have to just replace pretty much everything in the boosted so boost is something you want to avoid at this point because the company also went out of business as time goes on it's gonna be harder and harder to find parts and the parts are ridiculously high compared to regular standard parts we use for DIY electric skateboards these days so yeah the Vesk isn't for everybody it does require some soldering programming amount of time you have to invest to learn about vest the learning curve is not exactly kitty friendly um, it's gonna take you at least a few days maybe a few weeks um, to get the hang of vest and make it run correctly but once you get the hang of it once you know how to run it safe all the parameters the motor amps battery amps pretty much the two most important things and the voltages um, you can actually program it so let's say I want to make my battery last longer then you can set, set the minimum voltage to, to let's say make the spore slow down once it hits 20% that way you can really control how much power is being outputted by your board and also make your battery last longer there's little things you can do um, such as you can go forward and reverse I like to have all my boards go forward and reverse because I'm always on a steep hill and sometimes I gotta back up and talk to my neighbor and, and sometimes on steep hills going reverse gives you that instant power to really stop uh, on a dime all right of course you have the option to use a ton of different remotes you're not stuck with the remote that comes with hobby wing um, there's a lot of aftermarket stuff you can work with this just gives you versatility think of it like you buy your own pc you put your own motherboard uh, you put different graphic card that's what this is buying a hobby wing is like buying a mac you buy a Mac, you know, like back in the day when people bought Macintosh in the 90s, you couldn't change anything. Nowadays, they use a lot of PC parts. I think you can swap out some stuff. But back in the day, you bought a Macintosh, you couldn't change the graphic card, you couldn't change the OS. Um, you're just basically stuck with what you got. All right. But for some people that are not into modding and stuff, that might be simpler. Then I would say Hobby Wing would be for you. Or you're just starting out with electric skateboards. You can't go wrong with Hobby Wing, but if you really want to take advantage of what, what electric skateboards has to offer in 2020, you really got to get with the program and get a board with a VESC, right? Or at least get a board with Hobby Wing and modify it and use VESC. <laughs> this is the future of electric skateboards. This is open source. Anybody can learn it, make it, modify it, make it better. This is community knowledge that Benjamin Vetter has gifted to us. And it's the same thing with Android, same thing with Linux. Uh, Linux started with Linus Torvalds. He gave birth to Android. 
uh, all these free servers, web servers. Most web servers are now running Linux. Did you know even most of the new electronic gambling machines in Nevada, uh, Las Vegas, is actually run on Linux? All right. I love open source. I love Android. I love anything that's open source because it, it means that this technology can be shared, modified, and made better. Uh, whereas Hobbywing, it's all closed source. Uh, we can't customize it. The, in the future, there's nothing benefits us as a community. It's a good product, but beyond that, there's no real development like Vesk. All right. So definitely look into Vesk. If somebody tells you a hobby wing is like Vesk, no. Vesk is the king of motor controllers and electric skateboarding today in 2020. Hobby wing's great, but it's not for people who want to maximize their board, modify it, I'll put new wheels to put new motors, put new batteries, and really maximize uh, the efficiency of your board. Anyway, if you have any questions, leave in the thought box below. If you have anything awesome knowledge to add, please use the comment box below. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Dr. E signing out.